Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up Python running in Windows 10 through the WSL and setting up Python so that you can see a app, uh, like an X window app. Um, let me just show you what I'm talking about first here. So, I'm going to open up my Ubuntu command line, type code get to my sample here. So um, I have this example that shows I am remoting to Linux. And if I make this full screen, um, I should be able to debug this here. So here you can see it started, it started the Python window. This is running, this is running from Linux in my Windows 10 machine. So it's displaying Windows for me. So there's quite a few steps involved to get this to work, but once it's working, it works pretty nicely. You can actually debug your code, run it here, get hit breakpoints, and uh, actually have things working pretty good. So um, here, let me do run and debug here and see if that works a little bit better. So here you can see it's running down here in this WSL Ubuntu. I'm able to hit my breakpoints so everything's working. And it also works if I, I can do the same thing here. I can put my window and it should still work. Okay, so I have the steps here. It's pretty involved. Let me switch back over to where I was showing first. Um, first, you have to set up the WSDL or Windows subsystem for Linux. Um, you need to have PowerShell admin rights. Um, you run this command. Um, I'll, I'm going to share all of this in the comments for the video or the description. But um, I'm only installing the WSL one. So once you do this command, you're going to have to restart. But then after you do that, you can um, go to this um, link here and grab a um, distribution for Linux. Um, I'm going to be using Ubuntu 20. You can choose whatever you want, but you might have to adjust some of the package manager stuff in the future. Um, and then you just run run that for the first time and set up your username and password. Once you do that, um, you'll have to install VS Code if you don't already have it. And then uh, and just install that on Windows. You don't need to install that in Linux. Um, and then you're going to need to run from an Ubuntu show, shell. So there's three options that you can do to run from the shell. So you can you can either, if you've installed the app the same way I described from the store, you should be able to shift and right click. And if you do that inside of a folder, um, this open Linux shell here command comes up. So that way you don't have to remote across. Um, the other option you have is if you shift right click or you're in a PowerShell window, you can type WSL. It'll use whatever your default is and then it'll start you in whichever path that you ran your shell from. So that's one, another option. Or if you're a clicker and you want to do it that way, if you, if you go to your apps, you can start the bash prompt here, um, and then you have to CD over to your mount. C, sorry. So then, once you do that, you can open up VS Code, which is code period to open it up in the right path, which should work for you if you've installed on Windows already. Um, and then, by default, this plugin was here for me already, 
but you can see it says uh, editing WS WSL Ubuntu Windows. When uh, if you go to your extensions, I don't have too many set here, but I did install the Python extension, or maybe I didn't even install that yet. Um, let's see. Yep, I did install that one. Um, I've got a couple of material themes, but um, I don't think I had to install anything special for this WSL, um, in, except for I installed Python here. Um, so I think this uh, Linux uh, Windows cross compatibility thing for VS Code starts automatically. That makes your terminal here uh, the Python or the um, your Linux one. So any commands you want to run, you can just run your Linux commands there in the window. Um, but then you also have other options here um, that you can choose. So once you do all that, if we come back here to the setup, um, so you have a VS Code running from the Ubuntu shell. Um, these are the different options that you can get there. Um, and then you run that code command. Um, and then I was just telling you that um, you might have to grab this remoting one. Um, I'm not sure if it's always there, but I had it. I didn't have to install it special. And then I installed the Python. Um, I'm not sure if you need it exactly, but it does give you the ability to debug your scripts. Um, and Ubuntu sets Python 3 by default, which is only really important when you're doing these scripts. But uh, I didn't have to do um, app get install Python, so I just put that there as a step. Um, the rest of this comes from a Stack Overflow question I found um, on how to do some of this. Not all of these steps are required, but um, if it's a brand new install of Ubuntu, you're going to want to do your sudo app get update or sudo app update, depending on which one you're more comfortable with. Um, and then you do your upgrade. This took a long time for me. Um, it took like an hour, but um, that's depending on your internet connection and probably other stuff outside of your control. In order to get the UI stuff to work, you're going to have to run sudo app get install Python 3. Um, I think my Python, let me check right here. Um, I think my Python is 3.8. So I actually ran 3.8 here. I'm just gonna change this because um, this is at the time of recording. Um, this is the version that comes with um, version 20. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, you're probably also gonna wanna install pip. Um, if you're not using pip, I guess I don't know what you're doing. but. Um, so from, if you use pip3, um, I've already got it installed, so I'm not going through all that here because that would take quite a while. Um, you should be able to see, um, yep, your version of pip there. And then once you do that, um, if you want to do the example I have, you can install um, map, map plot lib. You don't really need that if you were using some other library or some other X window app that you want to test because this doesn't actually require Python either. This is just any X window can work this way. So the other thing that I haven't shown yet is that I have an X window app that's running down here. Um, and the one I'm using is VCX SRV. Um, but you can get it from this site, you can run it. Um, if it's not running down in your system tray, once you install it, um, it's this X launch app. And um, there's another, there's a setting in here that um, I had to set so that it would it would work. And that is that I had to um, disable access controls when I set this up. There's, there's a check mark, you just have to um, click it or else you might have some system permission issues. Um, but then um, when it's launched, it's just gonna sit there and wait for some X window app to come up and uh, everything will work. And then, uh, the other, the other um, config change that you have to do is you have to update your bash RC to export this display local host. So um, this is actually a little bit of magic here, but um, as far as I'm concerned, it's magic. If you know Linux better, it's probably not. Um, so if you do WSL and then dollar sign, um, sorry, I have one too many slashes. 
that that'll show your distributions you have. So if you have more than one, you can see them all here. Um, if I go into um, home, my profile, and then um, the bash file is right here. We can just open it here so I can show you. Um, I just put it at the very bottom. I didn't. I don't know what any of this other stuff is. I just know from a Stack Overflow article it says I have to do this export display localhost 00. I think in WSL2 that command is completely different, but for WSL1 um, that's fine. So once you do that, you're going to have to close your um, all your terminals and stuff and reopen. But then um, any any X window should then um, resend up to this X terminal. So um, let's see here. So, yep. So the last step is just restart any um, command prompts, VS Code, anything you have that's listening to that terminal, and then this should start working. So I showed um, I showed this window, this example. This is the smallest example I think I could get. That um, so if you have matplotlib installed by um, the steps I showed you a little bit earlier, or that's going to be in the description. Um, this is the smallest script I have that um, should show that it's working. All you should have to do is click the run button um, and you get this graph and you know it's working. Um, I, have another, I have another example here. Um, if I do this one, this is using Pygame. But um, if you run it here, you can see, so it's not just one app. Um, anything that uses an X window um, works. Um, and this is just uh, this is just what I have working. I'm sure. I'm sure if I do this now, it's going to be a black window instead of a teal window, so you can just see it's working. So I'll just do that again. But uh, so no magic happening. We're actually changing scripts and windows are changing. We're able to debug live code. Um, and if you go down to this window, you can actually hit breakpoints and debug your code. So um, you get a full integrated environment with VS Code without having anything on Windows. So I'm just going to open up a command prompt here um, and just show you that I don't have Python installed at all on my Windows machine. So if I go to my PowerShell here, I just cd, let's see. Um, so if I type Python, well, I guess I do have it there. Um, so that was terrible. That was a terrible example, but um, it's definitely it's definitely using everything from the Linux command. So um, ignore that last part, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.